Hey, Brian from Garage Mahal. Today I have a Vident iSmart Diagnostic Wireless Scanner. It's an OBD2 scanner. So let's open it up and see what we get. So this is your quick reference guide. And then this is the scanner itself. So that is your OBD2 connection. So every vehicle is a little bit different. This vehicle, this happens to be underneath this side of the vehicle. Yours may vary. So we're gonna install this, plug it in. So it's already connected. And there is a an app to install. And then in your quick reference guide, it will have the instructions on how to do that. Okay, so after you open the app up, this is the main screen that you get, diagnostic and maintenance, but you have to connect it to Bluetooth. So you click up there and it's gonna look for your device. Then once it sees it, you just click on it. And then we pair. So it's gonna say connected, we go back. So I experienced some audio issues, so I figured I'd kind of give you a better close up on this anyway. So this is gonna be the main app part. And initially you are gonna go into this management screen right here, and then you're gonna have a data management and update. So you wanna hit the update. And then it's gonna be obtaining data now here I just have one update because I had updated everything previously, but you basically want to do update all, and then I'll start downloading the specific modules that you're going to need. And this one happens to be a rather large file, so I'll fast forward to the end. All right, so after it's done downloading, it will have you installed the latest updates so we can go back and then you can go into the diagnostic parts okay so obviously it make sure you do the update all and it'll take a little bit to download everything. So those are all the updates. So we can go back and that's where the update is. Go to diagnostic. And then you are going to basically choose what you're gonna be looking for. So this is like your OBD2. So this is basically the diagnostic for this vehicle. So I found one code, so I have a check engine light. Right there on the dash, you can see it right by the, the E on the fuel. And then we'll go to the engine control module. And then we'll hit read codes. And then we'll hit stored codes. So it'll give us a P0420 catalyst system error. And what you can do is you can go back. You can check off of that. Oops, let me go back. And you can put in erase codes. Are you sure you want to erase codes? Yes because we know that was a exhaust system issue that we were gonna fix. And you can see how the check engine light is gone. So we can go back and you can hit read codes. You can go into permanent codes and see that that is there still. So you can do pending codes, no pending codes, hit okay. And then it can go basically into like a lot of different features on here. There's so much in here. But this will basically be reading all your modules. And then once that comes up, you'll see all the live data. 
So again, this does so much. Small little device, but super powerful. And then you can go to a custom list or you can do a complete list. And then this is basically going to go through all your live data. You can actually do a record so you can go back and review it. But these are all the live modules in the vehicle that you can see. I mean, it's, there's so much. And then again, just escape back. Uh, freeze frame, you have an O2 monitor test. So you go back to exit. And again, and these will be all the different vehicles that you can go through. Like basically it's, it's complete and updated. And then you can go by European, American, Asian, Chinese, China. So you can go through all the different. And then you have like maintenance that you can go through. I mean, it's just, there's so much. I just don't want to make the video too long. But anyway, uh, Brian from Garage Mahal with your Vident iSmart Diagnostic Wireless Scanner. Anyway. Be safe out there.